Uh, Ricky, we've talked about kind of trying to establish a go-to receiver. Uh, you look like you've been really, really consistent, and Coach has said as much. Um, do you feel like that's a role that would be good for you? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm a confident player, so I believe it is. But I think it goes back to uh, the off season and just getting that, building that trust with Jaden. So just getting that rhythm with Jaden and uh, being that, um, being available for him every play is just gonna lead me to that. Hey Ricky, can you talk about your relationship with LV and you guys pushing each other and also, uh -huh. uh, you know, training so that you can jump into the other positions other than H as needed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, me and LV compete every day at practice, so I think that's a really healthy relationship for us because it obviously makes us better each and every day, going hard every uh, practice and stuff like that. But at the same time, me and LV have a really good uh, relationship off the field too. Um, we're really good friends and stuff like that. And uh, obviously, me and LV are both uh, very um, um, reliable receivers and uh, can do a lot of different things. So uh, we're going to see more than just H as a receiver. Hey, Ricky, Lena Washington, 12 Sports. Uh, what's it been like working under Bobby, and what did you know about his history here, being a Corona mm -hmm. kid, what he did at Desert Vista? Did you know about his mm -hmm. history here as a yeah. local guy? Yeah, we always talk about it, and we always uh, talk about our old high school days and stuff like that. And um, it's funny because I always give him a crap about uh, being at DV and um, um, putting up touchdowns against them back in high school. But um, it's been an easy transition with him because, I mean, obviously he's an experienced coach. He's a really good coach. And he's been in the room with while uh, Coach P is coaching too. So he also uh, adapted and saw kind of how uh, Coach P was coaching and, um, and saw the success with that. So he kind of is uh, playing that for us and stuff like that. So it's, it's an easy transition for us. And we all trust him as well. Hey, Ricky, uh, Zach Keenan. I work for Devil's Digest. I saw the other night, and I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, that you threw up that peace sign right after <laughs> you just blitzed past him for the touchdown. In, in, in a receiver room where there's no clear-cut leader, do you feel like you really got to have an edge to succeed? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to step up this year and be the leader of the group, and also BT is trying to do that too as well, and some of those other guys. I mean, we're... Uh, they're obviously all looking at each other and trying to figure out, our other coaches are all looking at us and trying to figure out who the leader is, but I believe I'm going to be one of the leaders this year and be more vocal and stuff like that. And the peace sign, that's just competing right there. Dude. That's just love. Hey, Ricky, um, compared to last season, in, in what areas do you think that you guys might be further along mm -hmm. with your passing game this year? Yeah, I mean, I think we took really big strides. Um, with spring ball and obviously fall and stuff like that in this camp. Um, I, th I believe we're a totally different passing team and um, just keep on developing in that relationship with Jaden because obviously we got young guys and um, people that haven't been with Jaden for many years to develop that connection and with uh, Frank leaving obviously uh, a new receiver needs to step up. But I, I believe it's going to be everybody that's going to step up. It's not going to just be that one solo receiver. It's going to be everybody and that's going to make us a really strong group and uh, I believe we're taking really big strides and uh, we're learning more of uh, Coach Hill's offense and developing it more, and um, just we're just clicking. Hey, Ricky, Gabe Swartz, Devils Digest. Yesterday when Jaden was talking about the group of receivers, your name was the first one that came up, and he said that you've been really making strides um, and that that came off of your guys' work this offseason. Mm -hmm. What were those workouts like, and how have you, yeah. your, how's your relationship developed in year three working with yeah. Jaden? Uh, yeah, me and uh, Jaden's uh, relationship uh, increased over the summer and um, the offseason. Um, just texting each other back and forth and uh, making sure that we're good. And even when he went back to Cali, I was just checking on him to see how he was doing and just going over different plays and concepts that we're going to end up seeing in the, in the camp and then also talking about uh, what we're going to be looking at during season. And then even when he was here in Arizona, when we started training, just hitting him up, going out and uh, get, uh, developing that relationship and that trust and that timing because the timing is very important, obviously, for a quarterback and receiver to have that going onto the field. So just uh, I believe that just the, the work that we put in is just going to pay off. and obviously uh, develop that relationship going along. Ricky, when you're going up against Chase Lucas, Jack Jones, Demarcus Davis every day in practice, mm -hmm. you know, what's that like and how much does that, how much might that help you guys in the long run? Yeah. I mean, like we said, I mean, I think that it's been said before, but we believe that they're going to be the uh, best defense that we're going to see all year. And just going against them every day in practice is just to make the, uh, that, us that much better. So when we go out there and we see other defenses, everything's going to happen so much faster for us and it's going to happen uh, so much easier for us, you know, just going against a, a defense like them and like Chase. And um, I mean, it goes both ways though at the end of the day because I'm making them better too. I'm making them work. And uh, yeah, it just goes both ways. That's a good relationship to have. 
when you're watching other receivers go to work, um, it's such a deep, deep group, but who's the guy in, in the room that you want to watch the most and, and you're learning from as well? Uh, out of the receiving core? Yeah, out of you guys' group. Like who I'm learning from? Yeah, just who, who do you yeah. most want to watch their reps? Mm -hmm. I mean, I watch everybody's. I mean, being that leader, you want to watch everybody's. And, I mean, if somebody else is doing something that you see and you're like, oh, that was a really good rep right there, then obviously you want to implement that into your game and do that if it's working, you know what I mean? And um, just, I mean, BT, obviously, he, he's got that experience from Utah. I mean, he's been on uh, two different teams now, right? Two different teams, right? Um, and so just bringing his knowledge from where he came from and his experience and seeing what he's doing and just implementing it in my game. But, I mean, I, I believe that all the receivers have a unique way of how they play the game. So just just seeing that and seeing what, they, uh, what works for them and develop that into my game. And then obviously it goes for them too, you know what I mean? They're learning stuff from me that they probably haven't seen and want to put in their game, so. Ricky, being from Tempe, how exciting is it to be able to have probably a whole lot of friends and family mm -hmm. are going to be coming to that Southern mm -hmm. Utah game? Yeah, no, it's going to be really exciting, especially because uh, last year we couldn't have any fans. So, I mean, having a bunch of family and friends here, having my mom, my dad, and my, my sisters come to the game, it's going to be really exciting. I'm excited for that. We always talk about it. So, <laughs> Ricky, have you gotten to ride in the Mustang yet? And what was your reaction to seeing Jaden's <laughs> new NIL deal? Uh, almost. Yesterday, I actually uh, was talking to Jaden about it because I was like, can you take me home like <laughs> in your new car? But I actually had a ride, so <laughs> I, I didn't end up doing that. It was, it was my own car. So <laughs> that is nice, but... <laughs> Ricky, what, what have you thought about Jaden's just evolution from as a freshman to yeah. now and as a leader, as a passer, and mm -hmm. how might that uh, benefit you guys? Yeah, he took he definitely took big strides in, in his game for sure. I mean, uh, Jaden's always been a really composed quarterback, and is, he's always kept his calm. So he's always had that going for him, but developing that arm strength and then obviously developing that – the relationship with the receivers again, like I said, and then just being able to read defenses, and it just looks so easy for him when he's standing out there. I mean, he's he's usually in sweats and just like a hoodie and just hanging back there and making throws, and it just it, it looks easy. That it, if I could describe it, it, just looks easy for him.